Welcome, family. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Today is Wednesday. We are uh, participating with Fellowship Social Mixer. You guys, I have to give the disclaimer. I'm going to try not to be long. Amen. Just flow with me. And I just want to give us this quick encouraging word for all of us. All of us. All of us. Amen. Glory be to God. And I know sometimes that, you know, um, it can be overwhelming sometimes. We can have uh, feel pain. Uh, hurt right and just feeling like giving up and just in that 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 sad place you, you, you're, you're sitting in it but we cannot live there amen i was telling a, uh, a guest you know he broke down and just felt like a failure right and i and i and we've all been there right but but again i i want to uh, uh encourage us all you know we we again we can't stay in that place um again we, we there's frustration Yes, there are hard times. Yes, there is, you know, apprehension. Yes, there are some hindrances, right? There are some roadblocks. There are uh, some uh, stair steps that we all need to, you know, uh, that we all need to take. We all need to journey into. Uh, there are some times where, you know, the Lord can lead us in, in, in a certain direction where he's calling us to. And yet we feel like it's too hard or we feel like we're, we, uh, we are incapable. But know that the Lord has equipped us. And again, he will not tell us to go someplace where he is not. And, and of course, have not gone before us. Amen. And so, again, uh, whatever you may be feeling, right, uh, uh, whatever this grief that you may have, whatever burden or this sadness that you may have or, or anything that may create anxiety within you or that you know just just uh, uh, a cloud of thoughts that you know can, can can shut you down and just want to be just alone right uh, know that God wants to pick up pick us up and God wants us to take this this path he wants us to to just walk Right to, to build confidence in in the strength that He give us, His strength. Right, right, and 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 for us to walk and not faint. That He give us endurance, where He called us to in uh, all the things that He wants each and every one of us to steward. In Jesus' name, Amen. So I hope this makes sense to you all. Um, again, um, this word is for somebody, for someone, and it is for me as well. And so we're going to take context from Jeremiah chapter 33. The Lord says, and this is a, a God, our father was talking to uh, talking to Jeremiah. Jeremiah was uh, in a courtyard uh, being guarded and the word came to Jeremiah. And the Lord says, we're going to start in verse, uh, verse three, call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. How amazing does that sound? How amazing does that sound? And so I, I I encourage all of us to call on the Lord to seek his face so he can show us show us all the things that that we have not even searched or to 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 look for or to even think of uh, where he he wants to show us uh, the things, the great and, and unsearchable things that we do not know. How many of you want to know those great and unsearchable things? I do. Right. And again, wisdom, thank you, Holy Spirit, wisdom is sweet. Wisdom is sweet. And those who find it, those who find it will have hope, will have a future in hope. Those who find it will have a future in hope and your hope will not fail. Your hope will not be cut off. And it is the wisdom of God, the deep and unsearchable things that we do not know. The deep and unsearchable things that we do not know. But before any of that, the word says, call to me and I will answer you. How much of a privilege is that that God is asking us? Not asking. God is telling us to call, call to me. Seek me, look for me, talk to me, pray to me, and I will answer you. All the questions that we may have, he 
He will answer. He will answer. He will answer. How amazing that is. How amazing that is. Verse 6. We're going to uh, shift to verse 6. And, and those, if you have your Bible, please feel free to take the word yourselves. Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. To it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. God is saying he will heal his people. We are his people. We are his remnant. We are his chosen. We are a few, right? And 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 he says that he will. Nevertheless, nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. So whatever your it is, whatever your it may be, Whatever your it, God will bring health and healing to it. And I, I'm sure, I'm very positive in, in, to say that everyone has an it, I-T. Everyone has it. And God is telling us that he will bring health and healing to it. So fret not. And not only the, the, the health and healing to it, but healing and health to his people, you and I. And in the process, because change, change is not an event. It is a process. So even in this process that God has taken us through, the healing of our it, the healing of ourselves within ourselves. In the process, at the same time, we are enjoying, glory be to God, we are enjoying abundant peace and security. Abundant peace and security, the peace that God gives the peace that surpasses all understanding. The peace that God gives, not what the world gives. And Jesus says, fret not. Fret not. Don't be alarmed. Don't be moved. It's all right. I, I have overcome the world. Overcome. Present tense. Past and present. Amen. I overcome. Right here, right now, I overcome. So, which means, not only when he walked, when the Word made flesh walked earth, he's still alive. He sits on the right hand of the Father. We, because we are in Christ Jesus, we overcome. We overcome because we are who we are and only can be in Christ Jesus, whom God called us to called us out to bring us into. Hallelujah. Healing and health to your it and to you. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord Almighty for the Lord is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to our Almighty Father. His love endures forever. Hallelujah. And he chose us. He called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. He called it. He called us, anointed us to preach his word, to spread his gospel, to live out truth, to be light, to be salt, to stand out, to live out loud the gospel of Christ, not be hearers of the word, but doers of the word. Amen. To seek his face. God has, set, God has set the standard. He has raised a standard. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He has raised the standard. And we have to mirror Christ Jesus. And become less, less of ourselves and more of Jesus Christ. Which means we have to die to ourselves, family. We have to die to ourselves. Let the Holy Spirit work, the spirit of truth. 
whom God gave unto us, not the world, but the spirit of truth that God gave unto you and gave unto me. He does not give it to the world, right? We are not friends with the world. It's enmity between the world and God. We, we, we're, not, we're, we're not an enemy with God. And if you are a friend of the world, right? If you are of the world, you know, that's not us. We're not called to do that once before when we walked in darkness. Amen. We give we give thanks to the Lord Almighty for God is good. His love endures forever. For I will restore the fortunes of the land as they were before, says the Lord. The fortunes of the land as they were before. Think about this. In the beginning, when God created man, he set Adam in a garden, which is land that flowed with milk and honey. A land with all these amazing, amazing, every everything that you could ever think of was there. Was there. The fortune. There, there, there was fortune in the Garden of Eden. God says, I will restore the fortunes of the land. And so he wants to, to uh, direct us, lead us into the, our land that flows with milk and honey. He wants to lead us into our Eden. He wants us restored how things were in the beginning, before the fall of man, before the fall of Adam and Eve. Amen. And so that's what God wants to do. He will restore as they were before. He wants to restore you and I as they were before, as we was once before, right? We are born of the Spirit. We're born of the Spirit. Amen. Verse 12, this is what the Lord Almighty says in this place. In this place. So we've all been in this place, quote unquote. We fill in the blanks. We've all been in this place where it has been desolate and without people, without friends, without family, without animals, right? Without anything, it's been desolate. Without desolate. We've all been in a place where it's been desolate and without You've been desolate. You've been with, without. And in, in all its towns, there were again be pastures for shepherds to rest their flocks. How many of you know that Jesus is our shepherd? We are his flock. In the towns of the hill country, of the western foothills and of the Negev and the territory of Benjamin and the villages around Jerusalem and in the towns of Judah. Flocks will again pass under the hand of the one who counts them, says the Lord. Listen to what the Lord is saying. In these territories, in these villages, in these towns, flocks, you and I, you and I will again under the hand of our might all under the hand of our almighty God. Who counts us, says the Lord. The days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will fulfill the good promise I made to the people of Israel and Judah. In those days and at that time, who am, how many know those days are here and the time is now? I will make a righteous branch sprout from David's line, Jesus, Jesus. He will do what is just and right in the land. Jesus, come on, family, Jesus. And in those days, Judah will be saved. We will be saved because of Christ. And Jerusalem will live in safety because we are saved and under the mighty hand, the hand of who counts us, the flock. We are safe. There's peace. There's security. Amen. Because of Christ. 
because of Christ and we are saved and, and, and there's safety in the mighty hands of God. This is the name by which it will be called. The Lord, our righteous Savior, Jesus Christ himself. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ himself. So family, fret not. Again, I know that there's been time that we've experienced you know, great, great anxiety, you know, even sometimes great depression, right? Even just this, the somber space, even with our hearts. But we have to guard our heart with all diligence because out of it flows the issues of life. We can't stay in that place. And we know that we have abundance and peace and security. We are safe. Because the shepherd, whom is Jesus Christ, guide us, his flock. Doesn't matter where you are. Geographically, doesn't matter where you are. He guides us. We are under his mighty hand. And he will make things right. He will restore how it was once before in the land of fortunes. How it was once before. Glory be to God. Fret not, family. Fret not. The Lord is for you. He's working on your behalf. And I get it. I'm human too. And I, I am so imperfect. I get it. I have my days too. I have my days too. I break down. Some things I don't understand. I get it. I get it. But I encourage us all to focus on Jesus and to know that God is for us. God is for us, even in that sunken place. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit says we're you, you're, you and I are not in Lodo Bar. The enemy tries to get us to uh, think of the opposite of what God says. The enemy wants you and I to reflect, to meditate on the bad, the ugly, and everything that's going on in this world, but not so. God says, I am here. Seek me. Focus on me. I will take the lead. I will guide you. My son came for you to save you. And you receive. Rest in my word. I have you in the palm of my hands. Cannot anything or anyone take you out. All is well. Trust me. Trust me and trust the process because I know what's best for you. I know where I'm taking you to. I know the plans I have for your life, your hope, your future. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Receive this word by faith, family, in Jesus Christ. I hope this word meets you where you are. I hope this word blesses you. Let this word minister unto you. For those who are not saved, John 3, 16, Jesus is inviting. He is knocking at your door. Let him in. If not today, if not now, when? Today or tomorrow is not promised to any of us. Now is the time to choose who you will serve. Today and in your ladder. By the grace of God. I am infinite child. If it be the will of the Lord, we shall talk soon. Thank you for tuning in. This is Fellowship Social Mixer. Feel free to listen to other video messages. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to share. Amen. Glory be to God, Father. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, for your counsel. We thank you that you are in the midst of two or more who praise and call upon you. 
We thank you that we are in covenant in agreement with your word. And your son, our savior, our Lord, our king, whom saved us, whom died for us because of your love, endures forever. Father, we thank you. And we thank you for the new hearts and the pleasure of just being in your company. And we just thank you, Lord, for overseeing us and taking us where you need us to be and where you want us to be and where you desire for us to be and for us to trust the process and to help us to not faint, Father God, and to continue walking this marathon that's called life and that everything that we do, Father God, Indeed, in truth, brings in your name the glory, our lives, that honors you truly. And we thank you, Lord, for your love, and we thank you for choosing us, and we thank you for the narrow, straight path. We thank you for the standard that you've already raised that we belong to you. We thank you for your hedge of protection over our minds, our hearts, our surroundings, Father God. We pray for our enemies, Lord. And we thank you for everything that you are doing. In Jesus' name, precious, mighty name, we pray. Perfect name. Amen. So family, receive. Be expecting, be anticipating. God is doing wonderful works. And, and, and fret not. Okay, fret not. I get it, but fret not. Whatever the Lord, and I'm not sure which, which uh, book, book this is, or chapter, maybe Proverbs, but I will uh, link it in the description. God says, whatever I hear you say, and I'm only paraphrasing family, whatever I hear you say, whatever your lips speak, that also will I do. So family, we have to, we have to be very careful. What we say, what God hears us say, especially against, against yourself, that's what he will do. So again, we want the issues, good issues to flow, issues of life, good, good, good to flow and to speak. Those are the, the, the word of God we speak, right? So be careful. The, the, our tongue can kindle a fire. And we, we, we and, and Jesus is our bread of life and we, Eat in just the word of God, and yet we speak the fruit thereof, what we love, and whether it's good or bad, it's the fruit we eat, right? So be careful what we say and how we say it, not not just to yourselves, but unto other people. We have to watch ourselves. We have to tame, bridle this tongue of ours, right? Because, again, very powerful. Our tongue is very powerful. So, again, let's, right, uh, think before we speak, right? And, again, what God hears us, whatever we say, God will do those things that we say, that we speak. Amen? Food for thought, okay? I love you all. Again, be expecting, be anticipating, and fret not. God is for us. He's for you. And he's working on your behalf. Trust him. Even when it looks contrary, trust him. Stand firm. He is not man. He cannot lie. God does not waver. God does not waver. And everything that we, we've asked for, everything that we desire that's in his will, we ask in Jesus' name. And believe that we received. 
it shall be done unto you. It shall be given unto you. Amen. Hallelujah. You guys be safe. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. Much gratitude for the followers of Christ. I love you all, the love of Christ. Peace be unto you. Have a good night.